All right, stat students. So we have our next next lesson uh, for the week, which is transforming data. Uh, you have a worksheet over this, uh, so make sure that you get that done and turned it into Kidum. So with transforming data, we're we're taking a set of data that we have and we want to change values. Now you would have done transformations in your integrated classes uh, on like parabolas and such. Uh, for instance, if I go to Desmos here, let me pull that up. I'm sure you had uh, a teacher uh, do this with you. Uh, so if I do uh, x squared, let me square that, plus, and let me just call this a, add a slider. If I change that, it's going to transform it up and down, right? Um, but more of what we're going to be having happen is uh, horizontal transformation. So if I change, let me actually make that a plus sign. If I change B, it's going to be going left to right. So we're looking for changes that are going to be shifting the data. There's other things that could happen. For instance, if I put a, uh, a letter up here, multiplying by something. Okay. So we're going to see a lot of different changes with data in this in this video, specifically our data for heights. We're going to be looking at data of heights. So the good thing about this uh, compared to what you did in algebra is that we can make contextual sense of this very easily. Here's everyone's heights. You all measured them and uh, everybody submitted them on the survey. Um, so we have all the names over here, 35 people and their heights over here. Okay. So let's say that we, uh, well, let's first do this. Make sure you have this up for to start. Everybody go ahead and on your calculators, pull this up. I'll, I'll pause the video really quick. Uh, now that you have it up, let's go over here and let's go ahead and uh, let's calculate the statistics. Uh, I want mean, standard deviation, median, and then I want IQR. Okay, so menu, statistics. So this is the 411, right? Uh, and we want height, so I'm gonna hit okay. And here's all of our statistics. So we want, uh, and I'm gonna round this to two places here. So uh, we want transform data, we're gonna say heights, okay? Um, heights. All right, I want mean, standard deviation, median, and I want IQR specifically. I chose these because these are our measures of center and these are all, uh, the mean and median are measures of, measures of center, standard deviation and IQR measures of spread. Okay, and that's gonna be important for what, what you're gonna be asked to do in uh, this section. So, let's go ahead and write down the mean. It was 65, let's go over, 65 point, uh, we're gonna round that up to 69, so 65, 0.69 standard deviation is five or should say five median let's go down median is 65 and then we want q3 and q1 we got to subtract those so 70 minus 62 so the iqr is eight okay so there's our uh there's our descriptive statistics for heights. Now we might use mean and standard deviation if it's symmetric to describe it, or median IQR if it's skewed. I think we decided that our heights are roughly symmetric, so we'd be using these to make a descriptor. Now, let's talk about what happens if we, uh, what if I had you go back and remeasure this, but I said, uh, stand, on a 10 inch box and remeasure. Okay, that's gonna be sort of what we put here. Stand on a 10 inch box and remeasure. Well, what is happening to our data? That's so we're going to transform this data. All these heights, what's gonna happen to those? Well, Elijah's height would go up by 10. It would be 73. And then Hannah's would go up by 10. That's a, a 71. So this is be 83. This is 71. Then Madison's would go up 
to 76. Everybody would add 10 to their height. Well, what does that do to our data set? And then lastly, what is gonna happen to these statistics over here? What's gonna change? Do just a few of them change? Do all of them change? That's really what this lesson's gonna be about today. How does transforming data affect our statistics? Okay, so we have, uh, we're gonna have to refine these. So we could go through and we could just one at a time add 10 to all these, right? 35, That would that's not too complicated. And plus we're just adding 10. It would take a little while, but um, you know, we could do that. However, we're gonna find a quicker way to do it, okay? So stand on a 10 inch box. So we are going to go over here to a blank column. So mine would be L, but you can find one on your calculator. So I want everybody to follow these steps with me. Make sure you grab your calculator, you have this up. I'll pause it one more time just to make sure that you're here. Now that you're in this section, let's go ahead and um, let's, let's do this. I want you to name this title or this column box, okay? All right, so we want all in this column here, we want every single space to be filled in with the, um, the heights, but we want 10 to be added to them. So we need to go up one, go in this gray box, and then look on your calculator. I think we've done this before, we may, maybe we have. Underneath control, look on this left side where my mouse is. I'm gonna, it's gonna be red. You click the equal sign. So we're saying, I want this column to equal, I want box to equal. I wanna take the heights, I named it height, and you'll see, you'll know that it worked. As soon as you type t, that last T, it becomes bold. That means, okay, it's recognizing to take that column height. Now, what do we wanna to do to it? We wanna take every single one of those and we wanna add 10. So go ahead and put plus 10 and hit enter. And look at that. Every single height has 10 added to it. Let me go over here. 68 now became 78. 74 was 64. Every single height that you can maybe find yours has 10 added to it, okay? So they did exactly what we wanted. All right, let's go ahead and let's run the statistics for this. Everybody, you go to, go to the next column over, press menu, statistics, stat calculations. We want this time box. I, I chose the wrong one, hold on. Menu, four, one, one, okay. This becomes box, hit okay. There's our new statistics. So let's go ahead and, and write these down. All right. So the first one is 75.69. Okay. Standard deviation, still five. Median, let's go down and find that. Median is 75. And then IQR is 80 minus 72, which is eight. So what do you notice happened? Well, the mean and the median changed. So this was plus 10 and this was plus 10, right? But the, sp the, the standard deviation and the IQR didn't change. So why does that make sense? Well, we added 10 to every point. Let's, let's look at the graph here. Let's pull this up. I'm going to, oh no, 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 I don't want that. I'm going to split this page right here. I'm gonna add this box and then we're gonna change the, uh, the window here. Let's go from 50 to 100, okay? And then let's do the same here, menu 50, 100. So these are on the exact same scale and look what happened. All that happened is it shifted over 10. The points are still spaced out, right? They're still, they have the overall shape. I think it's just a little bit different. I don't know why it does that, why they look so different here, but they are the exact same data points, okay? The 74 just got, or these got split up somehow, but it's the same distribution. It just went from left, shifted over to the right, 10. Did they become more spread out? They did not. 
did uh, they get closer? No. So the IQR, these measures of spread, should not have changed at all. Okay. All right. So let's uh, say this. Let's say that I wanted to send this data to Europe. Okay. And they don't use inches, they use centimeters. So we are going to convert the heights. And we'll say original heights. Convert the original heights to centimeters. Okay, so let's think about this. How do we convert inches to centimeters? What kind of operation is that? Is that also addition? Is that um, subtraction, multiplication, division? Which one of the operations are we doing there? Because that's really what transformation is all about. Even with, uh, with polynomials, when you transform data, you are multiplying, you're dividing, you're adding, subtracting, you're doing stuff like that. So when I convert from, uh, from the, the original heights, what we had over here to centimeters, what operation are we doing and what's gonna change from that? Okay, here only the, the means, the mean and the median, these uh, measures of center or position changed. But what's going to happen with uh, when we multiply? Well, here is the uh, conversion. I googled it. One inch is equal to two and a half or 2.54 centimeters. So look right here, it even says formula. Multiply. Here's the transformation that's happening. So now we're thinking about multiplication by 2.54. So let's go back to our calculator. I'm gonna pull this up here. Make a new one, make a new column. Let's push uh, type CM, centimeters. And this time we're gonna hit that equals button on the left side, I'll show it again down here. And we wanna multiply by 2.5. So we're gonna do height and make sure it goes bold there. And you can rewind this if you need to go back through it. Times, we're gonna hit the multiplication button, times 2.54 that is our conversion from inches to centimeters hit enter and now every single one of these heights has been multiplied by 2.54 and then you know what we need to do next which is the 411 so menu 411 let's do centimeters and let's see what happened okay so uh, I'm gonna move this over the first one is 166.84, 166.84. Then we get same deviation 12.71. Go down. Median is 1651. And then we got to do this subtraction here. I'll go ahead and use another calculator to do the calculation for my calculator. So, 177.8 subtract 157.48. We want IQR, so I'm subtracting Q3 minus Q1. 20.32. So 20.32. Uh, now, how did these change? Well, it looks like, first off, everything changed, by the way, it looks like. And it looks like, um, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Every single value changed. The mean changed here. It got multiplied by that 2.54. So let me do 166.84 divided by 65.69. And you'll notice that this rounds up to 2.54. Let's do the same thing to the standard deviation. 12.71 divided by 5. 2.54. It's, it's rounded a little bit. This this number got rounded. Median, 165.1 divided by 65. 2.54 exactly. So there it is. The IQR, 20.32 divided by 8. Exact, 2.54. So when we're multiplying for a transformation, it changes everything. It spreads the data out even. Okay? Let's look at that on a graph. Let me change this to... Um, let's change this to centimeters. And look how spread out that is. Uh, let me see what the scale is on this window zoom. We need, we do need to change. I'm gonna make it 50 and uh, 205. Okay. And we're gonna change this menu 
window zoom 50 and 205. Okay, not only did it shift it up, but it also spread out the data a little bit. Like it, it's it's looser, it's not as compact, especially, and you can see on this scale, this is to scale, same exact scale. It's tighter over here in that bunch. So this one, the data got separated just a little bit more. Um, I've taught this in one class and I really liked thinking about it this way. Okay, let me, let's, let's think about it this way. Let me draw a point. You don't have to draw this, but we have a number line here. And let's just estimate where, uh, let's say that this is zero, this is, uh, this is 20, okay? Halfway is 10, we're gonna have a two here. So imagine this, if I have a dot at two and at 10, what's the distance in between those? Well, the distance between these would be eight okay right that, that is the distance between them now let's say that we double it this becomes four i double it and then we double this and it becomes 20. now what's the distance between those well 20 and 4 becomes 16. So notice if I double the points, that distance in between them also doubles. So hopefully that makes sense why it's getting more spread out and why it's changing the spread. Obviously it's going to change the positions. If I multiply every point by a number, that mean is going to shift up. That median is going to also get multiplied by that amount. So all that should make sense. But uh, but this is, uh, this is the concept that we're looking at. And we're going to write down some rules. Uh, so a lot of the rest of this video is really going to be you writing. I will look at the practice problems, what that's going to look like for you. Uh, but let's go ahead and write down some rules. First off, let's start with effect of adding. This also works for subtraction, by the way. If you subtract something, here are the rules. Adding the same number A, which we did uh, 10, right? That was we step, stood on a box and we remeasured. So we added 10 inches. It adds A or subtracts if we're subtracting measures uh, from measures of center and location so that mean median it also does it to the quartiles but just because we subtract the quartile or from the quartiles that's the distance between them stays the same so spread doesn't change percentiles get subtracted uh, but mean median okay but it does not change the shape of the distribution we saw that in our graph with multiplication it did but in uh, in addition subtraction it's not going to change the range the iqr or the standard deviation. So you do need to write all of this. I'm gonna pause it and let you do that. All right, so you should have that written. Here's an example of this. Um, we, we have this example of error versus guess. We are subtracting 13, okay? So we took the bottom one, subtracted 13, and all of it shifted. Not The shape didn't change, okay? And all, all that changed was the mean all the quartiles, the median, everything is minus 13 on here. The max went down, IQR didn't change, the range didn't change, anything that measures spread doesn't change. But the five number summary, all of those changed. You can see that. The mean changed and, uh, and nothing else changed, okay? Next, let's talk about effect of multiplying or dividing. We saw this when we converted to centimeters multiplying each observation by b so b is is the the multiplication um measure it so it's going to multiply those measures of center and location so all the five number summary and the mean they all get multiplied by that value b in our case it was 2.54 this would also happen for division so if i divided by 2.54 it would do the it do the same thing just inverted uh, but we have to remember when we multiply or divide, it is affecting also the spread. So range changes, IQR changes, standard deviation, but it's by the absolute value of B. So if we're multiplying or dividing by a negative, we're not actually flipping the signs. That would happen for the top parts, but for this, it's only the positive. Remember, we can't have a negative standard deviation. That's impossible. Okay, absolutely impossible. Can't do it. We cannot have a, uh, a standard deviation like that. 
Uh, next, it does not change the shape of the distribution. You may think it might, but it actually doesn't. So look at this example here. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's go ahead and write this down. I'm gonna pause, let you write it. All right, so let's look at, at this right here, okay? So we are going, uh, if you look at this, it has the same overall shape, okay? Same overall shape, it's just more spread out like I had written right here. All the points got spaced out. It was multiplied by, let's see what they multiplied by. They multiplied, uh, what does it say? Because our group, they're roughly two point. Okay, so they went from meters to feet, okay? Uh, I believe that's what's happened here. Air and feet from meters to feet. Yes, that's right. So they multiply by 3.28. So all of these positional points multiply by 2.38. And you can see those changes. And if you did the division, you would see that that happened. But everything changed. So remember, multiplying, dividing, everything changes. Addition, subtraction, only the positional measures change. The five number summary and the mean. Those are the only things that change. Okay. All right, 21 minutes in. One more thing that we want to do is we want to, this is the last thing. And then we're, oh, actually, hold on. We're gonna do this, then we're gonna look at the uh, problem set, just what you'd be doing, okay? So we want to standardize the data, the heights. So, last lesson we had which was last week we um we learned about z scores slash standard scores and remember here's the formula you take the observation subtract the mean and divide by the standard deviation we want to do this to our heights so remember the heights mean was 65.69 and the standard deviation was five Okay, so what's gonna happen if we standardize these values? So we have the mean, standard deviation, uh, median, and IQR. What's gonna happen? So we know that here, here was our original. We are doing subtraction and division in this one. So we need to think about what is gonna occur when I divide all of these values by or excuse me, when I subtract all of these values with the mean, what is that going to do to these points? Well, remember, subtraction only changes the IQR, or excuse me, <laughs> the five number summary, and the mean. And the mean is going to go down by the, by the mean. So it seems like the mean will change to zero. If I subtract the mean from every single point, the mean should change to zero. Let's actually, let's, let's just see this happen. Let's standardize. So let's go ahead and everybody go to a new section here and type the word standard. Do the equal symbol in here. Only once, not twice. And then I want everybody to create a fraction. You're gonna do control divide to make a fraction. And now you can, you can see everything being typed down here. Well, let's just type down here, not up here, down here. So I wanna take heights, height, I want to subtract that means 65.69. I'm going to subtract 65.69 from every single height. And remember, that is the mean. Now, let's divide by standard deviation of 5. And let's hit enter. Okay. It looks, hold on, it looks like I did something wrong here. Oh, this is weird. Hold on, it messed up. Oh, that's just the data. Sorry. We, we standardized it out. Now we need to do menu 411, so let's do that. Once we've standardized it, you'll know, by the way, these are all Z scores, okay? Let me, let me write that down. Standardizing the heights, this creates Z scores. So we just learned about that. So the Z scores, if I go back to the, to the calculator and you have this up, if I go over here to Elijah's height, 73, that's above the mean, and it's 1.462 deviations above the mean. That's what that Z-score is right there. That's a Z-score. So let's do the statistics. Menu 4, 1, 1. We want uh, to find standard. Now look at this. This is zero. The mean became zero, like we said. When we subtract the mean from everything, 
that transformation is also going to subtract from the mean. So it became zero. What about the standard deviation? Well, it's when I divided by five, remember division and multiplication affect the, the deviation. So if I'm dividing all of these by five, remember here we multiplied by 2.54 times 2.54. Now I'm gonna be dividing by five. Well, what's five divided by five? Well, this should be one. It should get me a one here. Let's see if that happened. Look at that, it's one. We That's so standardizing the data changes the mean to zero, standard deviation to one. Let's go, uh, let's see the median. Median, that's a an interesting one, but remember we subtracted and then we divided. So let's, uh, let's write that. That's negative 0 0.1. 138. So by the way, we subtract first order of oper well, and it sounds like order of operations isn't going to work, but we do what's on top first. That would be technically a parentheses. We do that subtraction first. So we subtract it all. Then we divide by the standard deviation. So order of operations there. What is IQR? Let's see. So all that would happen here is dividing by five. IQR we need. So let's go ahead and, uh, and do that subtraction. So it's point eight six two subtract negative I'll do point seven three eight it's negative so one point six is our IQR so let's write that one point six and that should just be divided by five so or whatever it was so eight divided by five one point six so IQR uh, it only gets affected by that division, okay? So that is standardizing the data. Uh, so that's important. That's gonna come up uh, later this week in, in one of our lessons, but let's uh, let's close this out. Sorry, I know I keep saying we're done, we're done. But you should be able to do questions. Um, let's see, where does this start? Uh, you should be able to now do uh, We're not doing 21 yet. Oh, okay, well, we you could do 21 because we did standardize the data. 21 is talking about that standardized. So if you calculate the standard score of every observation in the data set, what will the mean and standard deviation be? So we did that, okay? So you should be able to answer 21, but uh, there may still be a little confusion on that, okay? But you should do you should be able to do 22, uh, talk about what what would not change if we're adding 30, here we're just talking about the mean salary like you're looking at all these changes for what happens you're just describing what changes what statistics change based on operations that are occurring so in number 23 uh no yeah in this scenario where every employee is receiving three thousand dollar raise for next year so that's addition right and so you should be able to answer 21 through 27. Now we haven't talked about normal distributions yet, but you should be able to answer 21. Okay. All right. We're stopping this here. Let me know if you have any questions.